Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video we'll be talking about the coins that we bought at our local antique shop. So without further ado, let's find out what we bought. All three of us has bought some coins. We'll take it in turns to show you what we bought. I will go first and show you the coins that I bought. I bought five this week, so let's begin with this one right here. This is an 1897 half penny, very worn and very damaged. However, 1897 is a new date for my half penny date run, so I couldn't say no for only 50p to get a new coin for the date run and expand the collection of Victorian half pennies and half pennies overall. So there we go, that's the first coin. Next up, we have this coin here. This is a basketball Olympic 50p. Now this coin cost me £4.50 down at the antique shop, they had a few Olympics. So I bought one that I needed, the basketball one. You can see some basketball players here and someone jumping up to get a sort of slam dunk. And the texture of the coin looks like a basketball, very cool. You have the Olympic logo there for 2012 London Games. And to the obverse, the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, and it is dated 2011. So £4.50 for a new coin for my collection, a new Olympic to go, as I have now all the commemorative 50ps, apart from Kew Gardens. Now I just need to collect the Olympics and the Kew Gardens. So there's one ticked off. Three coins remaining. Next up is this one here. This is a really nice old coin. It is from 1907. That is, of course, from the reign of Edward VII. So we see his portrait here by George William de Sauls to the obverse, facing to the right, with a legend around. It is a bit shined up, this coin, a bit worn and shined, but, as I'm sure you'll guess, 1907 is a new date for the half-crown date run, so I'll add it to the date run in just a moment. Two coins left. The penultimate one is this one here. This is a very, very small hammered coin. Now, we're not the best at identifying hammered coins, but I believe from research, this is an Edward the Fourth penny. There's a picture on screen of an Edward the Fourth penny. Here's my one and I believe they're very similar and could well be the same coin, but please comment down below any extra info on that coin. The final coin, the best one till last, is this, an absolutely lovely 1914 half crown. We can see here the usual design for this era, with the crown above the shield, the order of the garter around, legend around that, and the date 1914 to the bottom. A really nice condition coin, sterling silver, and a new date for my date run, a new George V half crown, so let's now add into the date run these two half crowns. Here is the half crown date run tray. You can see here on the same tray, 1914 and 1907. So we'll remove those bits of card now, as, as I show you, I now have the 1914 half crown going into the date run, and I now have the 1907 half crown going into the date run as well. I'll have a little zoom out here. So this tray, tray number two of three, is filling up very nicely. Not too many dates to go now to finish tray two. To my trip to the antique shop for coins, I bought a massive amount of two, co two coins, costing me £36 in total. So from worst to best, my first coin is this, one quarter Anna. So this is obviously, as from the top you can see, the East India Company. And with the design being in such high quality, also looking just lovely. And you say, hey ho, where's the king? It's 1835, so we know it's William. Where is he? Well, we don't need him for this beauty. Beautiful coin, only cost me one pound. So, if you're very good at maths, I'm sure you worked out that the other coin cost me 35 pounds. So, this coin right here, this bad boy, designing the future, cost me 35 pounds. So, I'll take, take it out. Here we have this silver proof and not only is it a lovely coin I mean before we look at the coin look at the look at the box lovely box and there we are there we have it very shiny obviously because it's proof this amazing coin has a limited edition of 25,000 with the presentation and it is a lot uh, short-lived design as we are getting a new coin design, which I'm sure we all know about. So, this is the only coin I bought. Uh, as you can see, it's a very nice sixpence. Um, it's from 1711, as it says here, which is the reign of Queen Anne. You can see there, a very good coin. You can see the lips and the double chin, which shows just the greatness of the coin. There are four crown shields around a garter star and a legend around it. And the obverse features Queen Anne's one and only portrait from her short reign. This coin is about 300 years old. It's sterling silver. 
and I bought it for around £65, which I feel is a great price for a magnificent coin. So there we go, comment down below your favourite coin you've seen today and who of us got the best sort of bundle and deals from the antique shop. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Bits and Bobs with some more coins.